We're in Stichau. Purchaser. 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 Sorry. We don't know how to say it. Sorry, to Stitch all out, local purchaser. people. Stitch um, out, purchaser. Yeah, we haven't um, done one of these for, for a while. But Since we've been Ghent. Ghent, is it? In Netherlands. Netherlands. Mm. Yeah, well, we've been in Netherlands before this, um, doing some volunteer work there, which was pretty cool. Started building a brick wall. I mean, we had no experience before. We yes. Just Sort of our, started doing it. Our host seemed a bit concerned to begin with, but then she saw that we were rather neat. Yeah, we kinda. were better than the last person that was doing it anyway. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, I mean, YouTube is a great help. We just went on YouTube, watched a few videos, wham bam, <laughs> put some cement on the bricks, and laid some straightening thing like a. It's uh, called a level. A level, yeah, those things. <laughs> um, so straight. Um, but you know, when you have wonky people building a wall, it ends up being wonky. So yeah, we couldn't make it level, no matter how hard we tried. We gave up in the it end. It wasn't our fault. We yeah. just made it look neat. But it was pretty cool. Pretty cool wall. It was a good, good thing. Like I feel pretty confident that um, that I can do it again myself. You know, I was, uh, I was, I had the thought that you know I might as well start practicing on other people's houses. So that when it comes to building my own, I'll actually be good at it. So yeah. yes. Um, so yeah, that was Netherlands. That was pretty cool. We were hanging out with a whole bunch of Italian guys, um, Spanish girl, French people. It was um, it was it was a good place to start. That was our first um, volunteer placement. It was um, pretty good. Like twelve, a lot. twelve, twelve Tw people in the end. Yeah, twelve people. So it's wasn't really expecting that many people but um it was good the italians were hilarious yeah pretty funny i mean there's a couple who's, who managed to speak pretty well english like you'd have a conversation with them and there's a couple others who didn't really speak much english but you know we got we all go along it's pretty good yeah we had french italian uh spanish, spanish. uh we also had of course, Dutch, oh, which Russian. was the host. It was a Russian girl. Uh, yeah. Well, she was Latvian. Latvian. Mm. Latvian, Russian. Um, and English and Australian. And oh, then, yeah. of course, us New Zealanders. Quite a mixed bunch. So yeah, was good. The, dinner, the dinners were pretty epic, having to cook for that many people. We, cook, we cooked um, once. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. But once. their cheese, they don't have cheddar. They have, like, their cheddar is like, you know, those fake kind of plasticky sandwich strips that you get yeah, that's, that's, and they don't that's in the their fridge. cheddar uh, they have like some sort of gouda or something like that that they don't keep in the fridge so trying to grate that was, that was interesting um, and they have like um, what we'd call chocolate sprinkles kind of oh uh, yeah they love it. They put it on. <laughs> they put it on everything. Peanut what? butter. People yeah. are eating it for breakfast. Toast, so. peanut butter, and hachushla. Uh, yeah, they have a whole aisle in the supermarket dedicated to sprinkles. Yeah. I didn't look at that. Unfortunately, I wanted to have a look at that before we left, but we didn't get time. Yeah, so um, so we were there for a, for a week. Was it a week? Seven days? Five days? Six days? Six days. Six days. Six yeah. and a half. Mostly um, building <coughs> building that brick wall, mm. which is pretty cool. We'll have some photos of that. Um, and then, yeah, got in the car, packed our stuff up, left and headed towards... Uh, where we are right now, actually, um, in Germany, North North Germany, is it? Yeah, North Germany and Hav Havelland. What Havelland? Yeah, what West Havelland? I don't know. Stetcho. We're in, as we said at the beginning of the video, Stetcho purchaser, Stetcho purchaser. I don't know how yeah, to say it. It's been pretty cool. Accent. Like um, this lady we're staying with, she's she's um, she's really nice kind of, I don't know, she must be 50 or 60. She's definitely in her 60s. Okay, she's in her 60s, but she's really nice. Um, we built a path, or I built a path with the help of everyone else. Yeah, I did all the grunt work, built, um, 
You did all the groundwork. Grunt work, come on. Excuse me, I did majority of the grunt work. Well, you know, I bought the I did a lot of that grunt work. Well, I painted that house. There's a whole house, I painted it. House. Not a house. It was not a house. Wow. You can imagine that it's a very tiny a house. And it's everything. got one door and like two windows. Come on. It's a it hut. Took me two days. It's a hut that stores stuff. Yeah, well, I painted it, and it looks yes, pretty cool. Yes, you did paint it. You did a good job. Listening to some side trance and some house music while doing it. That's pretty cool. But I uh, miss your t- Taylor Street crew. Miss, missed you guys. You know, like I was there dancing by myself. But but anyways. That was cool. It's been really hot, really good weather. Um, Got up to 34 degrees today. But yeah, I mean, there's a ma- there's a beautiful lake for, uh, right where we're staying, like literally on the doorstep, pretty much. Well, I have pictures. Um, so we're kind of. If I can move this camera around, you'll be able to see the lake is right there. Yeah, that's the lake. And that goes on for um, 11 kilometers mm-hmm. around. Oh. 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 <laughs> Spilling everything. <laughs> We're just um, sitting here eating cheese and drinking wine. Although my wine went all over the floor, but you know, there's more of that from where that came from. Mm. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, we've really enjoyed this, um, this volunteer stuff been pretty cool mm. um you know we're working but we actually feel like you know we're it's work that you want to do yes yeah, where you want to and you, you actually see progress it's not something for someone else well it is something for someone else it's for another person but they're not your boss you're not getting paid to do it you're coming here they're giving you food and a place to stay although we are still living in our car out of choice um, yeah, our car's pretty comfortable, to be honest. Uh, thanks to my cushions, yes. And, um, Na- and Nathan's uh, handiwork there. Yes, Nathan's handiwork. Although some of those hinges oh, that yeah. we did need to be... They're falling apart on William's side. I'm just too heavy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not too hard to fix. Mm. Anyway, that's pretty much where we're up to. Yeah, so we're here for a... Well, tomorrow's our last day. No. Is it? Sunday's our last day. Sunday. I don't know. You see, it's hard. um, It's hard to sort of know what day's what. what. Um, Oh, Terry's... Spilt my wine. Anyways, um, that's (laughs) one-to-one. One all now. Yeah, you know when you're not, like, on a structured schedule and you kind of lose track of there's no weekends pretty much so it's, it's, I mean, it's, every day is a weekend yeah well every day is just a day really and, no, every um, day is a weekend we're yeah, on holiday I, for I, six months I guess so we're trying to be on holiday for six months insurance may not allow that yeah we'll find a way but when there's a will there's well, a way well I have a will so there's always a way um yeah so we're, we're, we're trying to like keep things up to date with our blog. We've, we haven't really had to speak in front of a camera and record our daily life because um, our life is pretty boring before this. The blog's an interesting experience, seeing as William takes a good three hours to write anything. Yeah, only because I want to say exactly what I want to say. Yeah, but... I'm so impatient. Yeah, you just got to learn to... Go with the flow and allow creativity to, uh, to to manifest itself in a beautiful way, you know? Yeah, but my creativity is so much faster. Yeah, but maybe you don't realise the depth that I want to try and communicate things to. I do realise this thing. You just take so long to do anything. Yeah, but think good Except things... when it comes to manual good, labour. Good things take time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and we 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 found this crazy this crazy thing happened when we were building the um, path. Like we had to basically take these bricks, which are you know a hundred years old. This is the original bricks from this barn that this lady had renovated and she lives in. So we're taking these bricks down, and 
I mean, in Germany, there's spiders everywhere, like... Ah, oh, massive ones. Massive well, ones, Well, not massive ones, compared ones, to Australia. Just, just spiders everywhere. Good that size. Ugh. So, I'm there taking the bricks out, I'm brushing them, getting them all cleaned up, pulling them in a wheelbarrow. Getting rid of them, the creepy coral leaves Taking them for down me. for Terry to put them along the path, and I picked up one, I picked up a brick, and then I heard the squeaking noise, I was like, what, what was that? And, well, um... Maybe mice don't squeak. Yeah, they were squeaking. What? That's they don't I, squeak. They're yes, they, blind and they just wriggle they about. They make a squeaking noise here. No, they don't. Got bitten by a mosquito, bloody bastard. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they made a squeaking noise. Trust me, that's how I figured out. Dude, I'm. Too, they don't squeak. I can go up there and show you. How they they squeak. don't squeak. Anyway, they made a squeaking noise, which they do. <laughs> Jerry thinks they don't, but they did. And um. Yeah, there was like five or well, there was four at what we thought four little um, baby mice just just under the bricks. There's actually six. Yeah, we came back the next day and we found six. But um, the the no, I was gonna say funny. It's kind of not funny, but the it's night. It's a bit sad. The night before, we were all sitting outside having dinner, and the net na- the neighbor's cat, which we had, you know, grown to sort of come to know, and we had pet him pet pet him in, in the morning. Um, petting him? What the hell's that? Petted. Petted. Um, anyways, that, while we're having dinner, we saw the cat had actually found this mouse and was like playing with it. Kind of caught it, playing with it. Maybe and then it. another cat, the same kind of cat, the exact same cat pretty much, twins, came along and stole it. Anyway. Yeah, so. We have a feeling so, that mean, that was the parent. Of yeah. these babies. Yeah, so we didn't. The babies really... are currently still alive. We're still yet to check this evening, but this morning they were still slightly wriggling about. Well, I had to barricade. I pretty much, um, we, we, we didn't know what to do. We just, Terry wanted to take them in and do something, but like, you know, how are you going to feed them? You know, a little your, dropper. You probably end up going to kill them anyway. No! Um, so, you kind of just had to let nature take its course, but I didn't. The, I didn't want the, the cat to just eat them because that would be a pretty bad way to go. You know, I, I mean, you know, a slow death is better than a, getting like mauled by a cat. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, hopefully there is a mouse out there that will take care of them. I don't know how. I don't know if that works that way, but anyway. Like they'll get adopted. Yeah, you know, it's happened before, but I mean, with human intervention, <laughs> but. <laughs> Maybe we could find another mouse and like introduce them. But anyway, I created this barricade of bricks, massive amount of bricks around this uh, little uh, pile of mice. And the cat was out there for ages. We got some footage of it, just sitting there. Could hear them squeaking. Terry doesn't think they squeak, but they can. Mm. The cats can hear them. Um, the cats can hear them because they can hear the squeaking loads of, of the, things. Anyway. The cat was there for ages. They couldn't get in because I'm super awesome at like making little uh, forts for mice. (laughs) So I've come to know. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, so hopefully they don't die, but they'll probably die. Most likely. But unfortunately, I really want to feed them with a dripper full of milk. Little hand red mice. So yeah, it's, it's been pretty exciting. It's getting dark, you can barely see us, we've talked for far too long, but that's the update. And um, yeah, and hopefully hopefully our camera presence will become a little bit more comfortable. I know in the, some previous videos it's been a bit awkward, but you know, we're still trying to get used to this whole talking thing. Mm. But yeah, sweet. We're going to um, head off. Next, uh, next see stop you is next, next, time. Ne- next stop is Berlin. So yeah, keep a lookout. Peace, y'all. See ya.